mostly because starting in the lineups, in our first game, we started four freshmen, two, four sophomores, and two seniors. And I think in every game but one, we had four freshmen and four sophomores. And the last game we started, we had three freshmen, four sophomores, one junior, and two seniors. So we felt really good about the progress because those young kids grew up pretty quickly in their first collegiate weekend. So, and part of that was, you know, our freshmen that were starting. Mackenzie Conley is from KZ, Illinois. Um, her first, her first game went three for three as a freshman, and played shortstop for all four games for us. So we were really happy with that. Alyssa Doyle, who is one of our sophomores, didn't see a whole lot of time last year because we did have six seniors last year, but she came in into our leadoff spot and took over for Meredith. And, and if you don't know who Meredith is, she was first team all-conference, first team all-region, our leading, our career home run leader, and uh, career, I think she was ranked first or second in conference last year in batting. And so she did a great job. She had 545 for the weekend. And McKinsey came out 561 for the weekend. Our pitching staff, we felt like, was going to be our strength this year, and I still do feel like that way. Um, we have Megan McCurdy coming back, who is a senior this year, and she's currently, after this weekend, leading the conference with a .54 ERA. Um, she has some big shoes to fill after Darcy Wood has left. But uh, right now, she has a, has a batting average against her at 175. And she is in the NBC Active Leader. She's third in ERA, fifth in wins, second in appearances, third in games started, fourth in complete games, fourth in innings pitched, and fifth in strikeouts. So I think that uh, she's really stepped up this, this year already, and I think that we really look forward to her taking over that leadership role. Uh, behind her, we have two freshmen and a sophomore. Our freshmen are Sarah Evans, who's from New Pal, Indiana. She had comes in as a highly touted freshman back-to-back -back state titles and first team all state. And Kristen Felker is a freshman from St. Louis. She was St. Louis dispatch first team all, all state last year and then she was second team while she was injured her junior year. Then we have Lindsay Beiser who's a sophomore. And didn't see a lot of pitching time last year because we had two seniors and Megan. But she comes in as a hardest thrower. She's gonna throw about 65 and probably other than one other pitcher in the conference is going to be the hardest throw in the conference. Um, she was county pitcher of the year for senior year. She's also 5'11 and weighs about 180, so she's going to end up being one of our power hitters. Um, you know, one of the things that, that has been a little hard for us, we have some injured players, and, and that's kind of the reason we have some younger ones in, but we have Amber Paz, who's a senior shortstop from Chesterton. And if you come out and, and look, you'll, uh, you'll see Amber and wonder what she's doing. She looks like she's about 12, but she's actually uh, one of our oldest players. Uh, she's 4'11", and probably one of the uh, fieriest, fieriest kids you'll ever see. She really gets after it. Great leader on and off the field. She's got a big voice, and, and she keeps everybody in line. Kim Pierce is a freshman who's injured, and she's probably going to be out for three more weeks, possibly four. She has some stress fractures in her legs. But she's probably the... Uh, She's probably the biggest steal that we've ever come across. She was a freshman from Chicago, Illinois, but she comes to us via Florida. And she was named first team all state as a senior by the Chicago Sun-Times and the Illinois Coaches Association in the outfield. Her sophomore and junior year, she was named first team all state in Florida as a catcher. So she does a little bit of everything. Uh, she has probably one of the best arms I've ever seen. Um, we're just not sure where it's going at all times. So, <laughs> safer to have her in the outfield instead of having her behind the plate. But she probably will see a little bit of time while she comes back behind the plate because our sophomore catcher, Bailey Wittenauer, um, who has Indiana State ties, her parents both.
chemistry has been great. It's been the funnest year I've had since I can remember. I, I, I think that if you know any of the girls, they've got great personality. Um, they like to have fun 